the axis of symmetry is a vertical line that goes right through the middle of a parabola and divides it into two symmetrical parts. It intersects the vertex at either the maximum or the minimum. Since it is a vertical line, it will always be in the format of x equals a number, such as in this example where x equals 3. When we're talking about a parabola, a parabola can be represented as ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are all numbers. For example, in the quadratic 5x squared minus 2x plus 4, my a would be 5, my b would be negative 2, and my c would be 4. Using that information, we can use the axis of symmetry formula. It is that x equals negative b over 2a, the a and b in this case being that a and b we just saw from that quadratic equation. This negative b, be careful, this means the opposite of whatever the b is, not automatically that it will be a negative number. So for this example of 7x squared minus 4x plus 12, I start with my quadratic formula of x equals negative b over 2a. Negative or the opposite of the b in this case, I would take my negative 4 and I would put the opposite of that, which would be a positive 4 on top. So on the bottom I have 2 times a, my a is 7, so on the bottom I have 2 times 7 or 14. I would then simplify this 4 over 14 to be 2 over 7, and x equals 2 sevenths would be the axis of symmetry for this parabola. If you would like a more in-depth explanation of the axis of symmetry, please check out the long form video linked in the description below. Also, be sure to head over to my stores on Spreadshop and Etsy for math-related merch, worksheets, classroom decor, and more. And if this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.